Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Ari Bershad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified. And uh, today I have a special announcement, but we will talk about, we will disclose that uh, special announcement in the end of this particular video. Okay. So uh, I have been meaning to talk to you and have a conversation, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And uh, th this particular video is not supposed to be a lecture, but this is supposed to be, uh, you know, I, I want to talk about the kind of issues that food technologists are having, not in terms of pay scale, because we have talked about that in previous video, but I want to talk about something else today, something on the soft skill side, right? I have been a food technologist. I have been an engineer. I have done my B-Tech and M-Tech. Most of you know that. Uh, and I am running this channel, this Food Tech Simplified since 2018. It's almost three years now. And r rarely a day goes when I haven't talked to a person, talked to a student or maybe a professional in the food industry. And I try to understand what are their pain, pain points? What are they struggling with? Every now and then I come across students who are looking for jobs or opportunities or internships and everything like that. And, uh, and I, I always tell them to work on their skills, work on their communication skills, and or maybe try to connect with people on LinkedIn. But the truth is they, they are more, you know, obsessed with getting the certificates, getting the certificates from online courses. And there's no harm in that. If I was a student, I would also be probably collecting the certificates. But that is not the, you know, holistic way to improve your prof uh, profile. A holistic way would be to improve your technical skills, your hard skills, and your soft skills as well. And we often neglect the soft skills aspect. I, I neglected the soft, uh, soft skills aspect until my final year, my pre-final year. And these are very important. These are as important as the hard skills that you have. Mostly the food technologists or the food science graduates or the students, they are obsessed with, you know, so tell me about HSACP or tell me about this particular course. How do I do? How do I get the certificate and all that stuff? And yeah, I understand these are important, but these are the short term skills. They probably won't help you 10 years down the line. They probably won't help you 20 years down the line. They are important to get started. They are important for your interview, maybe, maybe your first job, maybe your second job. But I genuinely feel that most of you, almost 90% of you who are watching this, they are obsessed with the short term skills. You are not developing long term skills. You are not working on the skills that will help you throughout your career. That will help you 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the line. You are just focused with that particular uh, course from uh, an, an online course and you are obsessed with that certificate that will only probably help you for the interview. I have had conversation with the professionals in the food industry and they say that, okay, the students are lacking the hard skills, the technical skills, but they can teach, the industry can teach these hard skills. They can teach SSCCP, they can teach food safety management system, they can teach quality management and all that stuff. But the industry will not necessarily tell you that how to speak effectively, how to build a network, how to, you know, build a personal brand. And that is why I have started a separate channel. I have started a personal channel with my own name, Ari Bershad, where I am going to talk about communication skills, personal branding, presentation skills, public speaking, LinkedIn, uh, the insights that I have gained from multiple books and maybe my per own personal journey. And I, I have done that. And now you will think that, okay, this, this, this entire video is a self promotion. So let me tell you the three, three reasons why I am talking about my own channel. I am promoting my own channel. Number one, if I don't talk about my own channel, who do you think will talk about my channel? I mean, imagine if you go to an interview and you take your friend and you tell your friend, okay, whenever the interviewer asks any question, you have to answer in an interview, you are going to answer your own questions, right? So this is my channel and that is why I'm promoting it. I strongly believe in this channel. I strongly believe in this strength that I have. And that is why I want to share that with you. The second tip, no, not the second tip, the second reason. The second reason is that I am pretty confident that the skills or the framework strategies, tactics, or whatever it is that I'm going to talk about on that particular channel, that is actually going to help you. That will be actually practical and doable. They will make you uncomfortable. This, these tips are not supposed to be very easy. These tips are supposed to be practical and simple. These tips are supposed to make you, you know, grow out of your comfort zone. 
see uh, in the last few years i have delivered a lot of presentations i have as a student and i have been a lecturer i have observed a lot of presentations i have attended webinars and i have delivered speeches in webinar i have delivered presentations in webinars and i have learned i have taken a lot of online courses i have read a lot of books i have absorbed and or observed a lot of speakers and seen a lot of youtube videos and there is so much of material out there that may not be relevant for you and i want to give you the relevant material i want to give you the relevant tips the practical tips so that you don't have to waste your time here and there you just go to the channel you see a practical tip you start implementing it and you're already ahead of your competition so that's second reason why you should subscribe to my channel the third reason and this is one of the very interesting reason see most of the experts or the gurus out there who are selling a course on communication skill or maybe uh, talking about communication or presentation skills or personal branding maybe not personal branding but communication skills specifically they are probably 30 40 50 year old maybe they have written a book but they are you know quite mature and i do respect their expertise they are the experts of the industry i do understand that and you can you are free to learn from them obviously but what I believe that I am uh, relatively younger than them and I have been a current student. I have recently, you know, uh, it's been about two years when I completed my own MTech. So I understand the pain points of the students and not just because I completed my master's in 2019. Not only that, but I also, I also have been in direct connection with hundreds of students, hundreds of students, believe me, through Food Tech Simplified. I understand their pain points. I understand that what it's like to be on the stage, what it's like, uh, you know, the, the heart starts pounding when they have to speak. They, they are not confident. You know, they, they are very self-conscious. They have that kind of anxiety when they have to speak. And maybe they are still confident, but they don't understand the framework that how do I arrange my talk? How do I prepare the slides? So I, I want to make things relevant for you. And I'm not claiming here to be an expert. The third reason I'm not, uh, trying to be an expert in front of you or look I am the master communicator or I'm a master storyteller. No, I'm not a master. I'm not an expert. I am learning and I want to share those learnings with you. I want to share the practical learnings with you and make them relevant for you. Because these people, I understand that they are expert, but, but they don't understand your struggle. They don't understand that what it's like to sit in an online class. I understand that. I have attended these online classes and I have given these online lectures. I understand that how boring these virtual classes can be. I understand that what it feels when someone's, someone is rejecting you on your face. Okay. So I understand your pain points. I understand your struggle. And I believe that if you head over to the channel, the link is down in the description. These are the three reasons. <laughs> so I believe if you, if you are interested in communication skills, if you are interested in, you know, LinkedIn, personal branding, or maybe you are just interested in developing yourself apart from food technology because I have kept this channel for food tech simplified is for food technology but apart from you know food technology the communication skills LinkedIn personal branding and all that stuff for that you can go and subscribe to my channel these are the reasons I hope this helps you uh, I hope my channel is going to help you as well if food tech simplified has added one person value do hit the subscribe button on that channel and uh, we'll keep uh, making videos on food technology don't worry uh, i'll be active on this channel as well i'll be making food technology videos as well for you if you are not interested in improving your communication skills all right i'll see you next time class dismissed